Howdy folks and welcome back to another episode, yet another one of Hearts of Iron 4 playing as Polki, Phalangist Poland and Neo-Ottoman Empire, formerly Turkey. We might rearrange the name there a little bit. And it's me, Scripter, and of course, Tank! Which is me! The Empire. <laughs> the Ottoman Empire. <laughs> yeah. The Neo-Tank Empire. So to say. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So last time we won the war, the second, first we crushed Russia, then we crushed the Axis, and everything is ours. Which is pretty good. much everything, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we started redistributing troops, as you can see here on the soon-to-be Western Front. There's still a lot of troops roaming in our territories, because the war just ended, so uh, you might want to hit play there already. Okie dokie. Just to get things progressing. Uh, yeah, yeah, everybody joins the Allies. Yeah. I don't care. So that was about to happen. Well, Scripter is lagging behind. Yeah. Probably need to aggression pack cancelled and all of those things that I needed to confirm. Yep. So the troops are moving out. We have a lot of American troops over here, which probably will now go since there's no war, which is good. Spain joined the Allies. Well, you can join as much as you want. <laughs> yeah, cancel non aggression pact and whatever. Yep. So if you look at this, every territory that's not ours except for those non aligned, like Denmark, which is still non aligned and no faction. Well, they're democratic, but they're not in a faction. So we'll see how long that lasts. All the borders are covered. We will try to uh, force our will upon all of those that are unfortunate to stand in our way. We will ignore Africa for the next war for now, except for the Suez Canal, obviously. Yeah, but I still um, don't have the troops to actually go at this border at the moment. Yeah, we're working on but that. But they're training, they're training. You can see they're training up here. Uh, we have a little bit yeah. of northern Malay, so we're working on getting into the UK and denying them all the 800 rubber that's down there. And we are fabricating a coup in the US. Where is it? There. Yeah. And 27th of May, 1947. And I did start to uh, influence, boost the party popularity in the British Raj. So that might turn out to, to be uh, a civil war as well, where we could get some territory there. Yeah, but I did the see. same boost, so that should help. Uh, changed a couple internal things, uh, got back to war economy from total mobilization. That's why I have like a million more troops all of a sudden. And I'm still not... In close economy, I have to change that as soon as the next war starts, because I do have quite some exports, like steel, that I do not want. Other than that, currently we're just letting the game run, producing stuff, I'm waiting for Mechanized 3, so we can start our armored divisions. We're also doing all the marines now. Which I already just catching have up on some tech. done. I'm, I'm thinking about going down the rocket artillery tree, but at the moment I think it's more important to... Research nuclear tech. No c kidding. Uh, <laughs> well, I got that done. Yeah, you got that done. Um, I'm, I'm, nah, should I go down the plane? Nah, I think I want to go and continue researching all the ships I need. For example, I'm definitely going to need some carriers soon. <clears throat> yeah, I started constructing dockyards. They are pretty much down in the list. Well, not that far down, but first come all the nuclear reactors, then the rest of the military factories. I'm not going to produce any more, I just will finish those that have been started. Uh, Malay will get a harbor so you can land your troops down there. Currently, we don't have any connection. And then it's just a ton of dockyards. And, yeah, well, some more raiders and afterwards come all the rocket sites i'm done there i think i should have rockets three yes i do so i'm gonna start those and deploy them since they're they're basically just a passive buff they're gonna be produced they're not taking any steel or any other resource as far as i can see they're just gonna be produced as soon as you have the rocket site down and i have a lot of those queued up since we have quite a bit of range with those Gonna be pretty much all of Germany will be rocket sites. As it should be. <laughs> <laughs> so From there we should be able to hit anything. Anything really. All around the world. Mm-hmm. And you see, I don't really need to train those armies anymore. They are all at least trained and they don't get any further ahead than trained. Well, yes, they do. They get to up to regular. 
So uh, uh, that's okay. I still can train those armies as well. But very important was those armies here. They're mostly green. Those are, this army is completely green. Well, just a couple of them got trained over. And this gives me also some military experience, army experience, which I can use, for example, to get this army up and ready. Oops, no, to get this army up and ready with all mechanized. Finally, modern tanks. Here we go. I'm gonna use them as they are. Perfect. Um, can we turn Portugal fascist and have to join our <laughs> faction? We probably can. <laughs> I have the, the the points for it, so I can boost party popularity there. Here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same. <laughs> Just started. Uh, the boost here in uh, the British Raj is going pretty good, actually. It's already 16.8%. And the US, um, yeah, Scriptor is fabricating the uh, the coup there, or supporting the coup. Mm -hmm. And they have Wargol against Japan, and Japan is a Wargol against the US. Declared war on the state Ooh. of Japan. Interesting. Well, have fun. That, that little thing that remains there. <laughs> yeah, but now the question, should I support those guys? What, Japan hmm. or the Allies? Uh, the, the Americans? Japan. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Probably not the smartest idea. No. Uh, I don't think so. Not that little thing. Well, if America gets that territory, then you don't have to worry about it anymore because you can just take it away from them immediately once the war starts. True, true, true. They won't have a lot of true. troops there. Correct. If they decide to come over, I'm, I'm still. Oh, look at that! The Brits actually have some troops in uh, South Korea. Whoa! They want something from you. Oh yes! How dare they? United Kingdom is influence. Inf yeah, I just can use how dare they. <laughs> That's what uh, they do, I guess. I'm the part of our countries and has offered often try to meddle in neo ottoman Empire's politics. Recently, this is intensified as conservative parties starts pushing their de democratic propaganda with no respect of the Turkish political tradition. Oh, so they started to, yeah, they started to influence, uh, started to boost party popularity. And actually, Aww. Portugal, the US, and the British Raj is boosting the uh, party popularity. <laughs> Oh no, hang on. That's where I'm boosting the party popularity. Yeah. Uh, okay, I don't see anything in here then. Never mind. Not really. Never no, mind. I suck. In there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I researched that. It's going to be. You're good. guaranteeing my independence. I still like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not producing modern tanks. Finally. Um, whoa. Landing craft, last landing craft, perfect. We need that for America. What what resources do I need? Oil. I need one oil. Seriously? Now I need three oil. US, give me no, not that much. That US, much. Thank give me you. oil. <laughs> yeah, give me all the oil you have. I take it. Give me These the tanks oil. are expensive. They are. And as, as further up the production goes, uh, the production efficiency goes, um, the more I need. Already I need more steel again. I'm working on Mechanized 3 to be able to outfit my tank divisions properly. Thank you for reminding me, because edit. I can edit now again and actually change over the last motor mechanized to motorized to mechanized. Which is uh -huh. graced, great. Even graced, if you want to. Graced, it's very graced. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that looks pretty good. And okay, cool. My divisions here oh, no, will be use speed. Those speed. divisions. Ah, oh, crap! One more. Reducing speed or what? Yeah, I was just trying to add more artillery to my tank divisions, but that would be reducing speed, and I don't want that. Uh, but since I have, uh, where is it? 
own combat with minus 10%, so I can go up to 22, so I can add another mechanized and add a considerable amount of HP. That's good. I'm going to do that, I think. Yep. Over here, and actually half of you guys. Yeah, would be a waste otherwise. So yeah, that's that's outfitted. Modern tanks and all of that. So, oops, start producing. Train. Two, three, four, five, ten, twenty. I get that one done. And um, give me and five I of those. Need... That should make a hundred. I need more steel. Oh, here they go. Perfect. So now we're missing 12,000 infantry equipment, obviously, since we're training everybody. <laughs> and about 5,000 tanks, but that should come up. Even though with the training, yes. I still have enough, which is nice. Very nice. And my, my garrison divisions are ready and actually deployed, which is nice. And they are trained to the maximum, and they're dug in to the maximum as well. Perfect. It seems like I have shipped over everything we need for the coup. Already? So that should be able to start any time, well, whenever it's ready, which will take some time. It's about a half a year, like right now, May, you said. Yeah, a bit, bit more than nine months to be done. So the US have declared war on Japan here. That means I could de actually declare war on Japan here as well. And then take it, right? Sure. Well, that depends. What? Wait. <laughs> Japan is democratic. It, yeah, and but it's at war with the allies. Is it at war with all the allies? Uh, no, it's it's no. at war with the United States. Um, France, technically, um, it can't really join the Allies when it's at war with one of their members. But I'm not 100% sure about that. That could go very, very bad. Very, very quick. So don't risk it? I wouldn't. Oh, I'll just leave it. Chicken shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ah, man. Well, you I don't have to fight the best front. <laughs> I could take the British Raj right now if I wanted. No problem there. But well, I can't take the West Front. Well, I actually would be probably in trouble with the British Raj already. Still need more. So oh, I'm trying to get to jet more. fighters and jet bombers. Fortify our West Front as soon as that is a thing. Should have more than enough airfields here that are good. 600, 1,000, 200, 600... 1200, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna do anything here. 2600, Jesus. That's good. <laughs> Jesus! Come Ooh, on, guys. That, that guy. Move your troops out of my territory, please. I decided I need another front line. <laughs> you decided you? you need another front line. You. What? Duh. Are you done? Yeah, I just realized I took an island there. Thank you. You took an Oops, island? Sardinia. Yeah. Ah, okay. And the northern part, you know, Corsica, there yeah. is a land bridge. Oh, so true. I'm just going to station one troop there and see what happens, since I have control of the Mediterranean when this war starts. True. I'm just going just gonna to take Gibraltar. I have the other end of that straight. And I'm gonna make sure that nothing happens over here. I hope you're then fortifying the, the whole east coast there with your navy. So, uh, new army. Mm, it's a different color. Like... Bluish. And they get a commander as well. And then they're going to go and fortify the south here and... Actually, four of you will fortify up here. Oh yeah, that port is done yep. in my, Malay. My troops are moving in now. The 12, 12th I have it on priority to make that a uh, level 10 naval base and um, max infrastructure. Perfect, perfect. Uh, my light blue oh, yeah. army is moving over there. Which is cool. 
Um, I'm actually adding a radar station down there as well. That's the first thing that will get done. Those three things are on top of my list. Where the hell are my mountaineers? Here are my mountaineers. Going to be a new army as well. And you get the orders to hold over here. Whoops, wrong button. Orders to have to hold that one. You can see that Switzerland joined the Allies. They never had that many troops. Yeah, unfortunately <laughs> they did. They did actually two or th two episodes. There's at least ago. 100 troops on the western border here. No, actually they did when the, when we ended the war. I think. You know what would be interesting? Nope. We have all these troops in our territory, and we do have open borders with them pretty much. But what happens when the war starts? Th those are all exiled troops. Um, when the war starts, uh, the province they're in will turn into the. Uh, certain nation's t uh, territory. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I'm sure about that because it happened with me when I, in my American playthrough. I had troops All in right. my territory, the war started and it belonged to them. Alright, so we need to cancel all of those things. I'm gonna wait for a second till my troops actually have arrived uh, in Siam, but then I will do that as well. Let's keep the vile United Kingdom from our lands. <laughs> Happens when you click on cancel military access. <laughs> so we have a diplomacy thing here somewhere. Where can I pull up the treaties I have? Oh, right here. about right. Roll a new command. And actually, you get another color. I don't get this diplomacy button. Thank British you. Raj, cancel your access. Excavation. Who cares? They're still moving through the British Raj at the moment. So not a good thing. France. Well, cancel actually, the access. Actually, with France, I could actually cancel as well. Cancel their military access. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna not the other way around. That would nope. be foolish. <laughs> I'm gonna keep mine. Um, well, we could just put all our troops in their territory in every single province, <laughs> and then start the war. <laughs> Cancel their like all over Great Britain, access. just put them there. And I'm also gonna cancel the American military access. Oh, they don't have military access. That's good. Yeah, they they came a little late there. All right, uh, carry us, sure. Maybe the Australians have military access. Yes, they have. Cancel that. So now they need to move out of my territory. Yep. As soon as I did that, they are all attrition. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Norway. Why do you have military access? So, we have this army. And we make a new theater. And that's Anybody going to else? be... Okay, sure. Dark Red. And that's going to be... They already cancelled. Who else is running here around here who doesn't belong? Pretty sure that's it. Who are you? Roll a new commander. Tanutuva. Yeah, sure. They they are still standing around there. <laughs> uh, ba -ba -da -ba. Carrier two. Okay, dokey. Uh, Construction wise, I'm on a good plus with. Agonize uh, 3. Thank you very much. Actually, gonna go. Not gonna go into paratroopers. Got, gonna go Stun. with another infantry equipment and then actually Stun another mechanized 3. What? Thank you. Ooh, I'm very low on manpower now. One of you boats. They're oh, pretty cheap. Um. Who the hell are you? Time to start on the naval doctrine. So, let's see. 
Strong fleet focus around battleships. Don't have. <laughs> Trade interdiction sounds good. Base strike is focus on carriers, which is what I'm gonna do. That's all destroyer attack. Yeah, that's destroyer attack. Decided. Thank you. Advanced well, landing craft is done, so that's the last naval attack for invasions. Perfect. There's nothing here I want to do. Should we get to this? Get over here and do that. Perfect. Because you don't belong up here. <clears throat> So one of the interesting things is when you look at your uh, air research, any type of fighter craft, if it's the fighter close air support or naval bomber, leads to the jet fighter, right? Yep. So at this stage, I haven't really researched anything. I think it came with jet fighter one or uh, with with regular fighter one. So I'm not going to go down the fighters. I'm just going to go down naval bombers, which we need anyway. Get the latest one of those, including the carrier version, and then go straight into jet fighters, and that's it. True. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, 29 days for the first one. <laughs> yeah, I come. I'm still uh, researching all the ships. resources I need. For well, that, jump to that. I should do this first. Okay, so British Raj, cancel my. Okay, they didn't have military lot. access. I have military access to the Raj, but they don't have to my territory. Well, actually, you can see it in the diplomacy view. Diplomacy Who has what? View. When you don't have any ah, nation yeah. selected, you get the big list, which I st still think it's a little bit buggy. All of a sudden, I have a surplus on steel. All right. Uh, democracy coming in non-aligned. British Raj has non-aggression pact with me. Boy. Yeah, it's fine. That's gonna go away. <laughs> In all these little countries that have just come into existence, like Hungary and Italy, well, the city-state of Rome. They all start pretty much with zero infantry, so take the capital, you're done. True. Which is very nice. Actually, you six guys. Well, actually, um, did I stop that already? Hopefully I did. I did. Perfect. Thailand has capitulated. They were at war. Oh. Maybe. With who were they at war? Scriptor is lagging behind. Speed goes down one more. <laughs> Scriptor is lagging behind. Scriptor is gone. Might be. Yeah, Scriptor Lost is connection gone. to the server. Scriptor seems to be gone. Um, mm hmm. Decline. All right, we're back. It seems like it, at least. Uh, was a little trouble with uh, my ISP resetting, and afterwards I had no Steam connection for like 30 years. Seemed like it. I feel, f felt more like 60. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> the war over. Did you win? No, it's still the same as before. You didn't do anything. That's no, bad. no, no, no. I, I, I was, I was, was, was nice. I stopped. <laughs> that's, that's what you call nice. All right, all right. I can live with that. Sure. I still have 50 military factories and don't know what to do with them. But they're all damaged. Uh, still need it. more steel, god damn it. So I'm still gonna go through the, not this one, the naval bomber line until I get to the jet fighters. I still I'm have... researching carriers. I still have my modern tanks ready as soon as the civil war breaks out in the US. Which hopefully be soon. 700 days. Sure, why not? 700 days, 730 days on the strategic jet bomber. Very yes, nice. Please. <laughs> it's a little bit ahead of time, maybe? Well, for now, I just go with bomber. <laughs> hey, it's good. <laughs> oh, wow. Next one, next one. I still have stuff. That's good. Uh, um, convoy escort, submarine operations. I'm not gonna go submarines, so I'm gonna go destroyer because I have destroyers everywhere. Again, out of steel. Oh. 
Will I be able to steal everywhere. again in a second? Yeah, destroyers. Look at that. And some submarines. Looks about right at the moment. And I can change my motorized division back. Slowly changing it over to mechanized. Not producing any of those, of course, but... Mm -hmm. Aww. <laughs> I'm importing 312 steel from uh, from the US already. Giving them, them so Holy. many civil factories, damn it. I'm importing 232 oil. We need America in this war right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, what war? We don't have a war. That's what you think. You will be uh, at war very soon. 36 rubber. I'm still importing 64 steel. I'm still good I'm on exporting 300. I'm still good on rubber. When will be that be ready? 27th of May. Someday, one day, maybe. But I, I know. but I think that's going to be one of for a next episode. <laughs> yeah, it's not much happening right now. I mean, we have all the battle lines drawn. British Raj is covered. Um, you have oh, you you do have troops down there where the rubber is in rubber country. Yes, I do. And I just got another troop ready here to actually fortify against this border a little bit. We're gonna hit pause here because we're gonna go in a second. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Japan and a lot of others fighting against Japan. Uh, Japan and Thailand are fighting against US, Philippines, France, Canada, Mexican opposition, Greece, and Yugoslavia. All right. Why not? <laughs> would be boring if they wouldn't. <laughs> yep. We still have, where are we? 9th of February, 47. 27th of May is when the coup starts. And I guess before that coup isn't over, we're not going to go to war with anyone because we need to get that done. Otherwise, the other side is the allies, and uh, we have all of them against us at the yep. same time, and we don't have enough troops for that. That would be pretty bad. Yeah. I'm still building tank divisions. I mean, they're nearly done. 73% training, 96 some percent something, it doesn't matter. They're nearly done. That's <clears throat> that's good. <laughs> I'm be done all out of manpower. April. I still have 2.8 million. It's, it seems like it's rising. Could send some over. <laughs> hmm, <okay. laughs> uh, but I think that's more going to be it for this episode, I would think. Because yeah, we're about definitely. 25 minutes and now we're finally back. Something. We're, we're approaching 30. Yeah, around that. All right. So then let me end that. Is there anything else you have to add? Nope, I'm ready for war. <laughs> yeah, you and what army? <laughs> I'm not. Well, well the, not small, the, next two episodes, the, the small troops I have here and there. <laughs> so next episode, we'll see the coup in the US. Pretty sure about that. It's only three months to go, and tank division should be ready, and tanks division should be ready. Ha-ha. <laughs> and we're going to send some volunteers over and see if we can get that done. That might be interesting. They might get a lot of help from the Allies. We'll see. That's it for today, folks. If you liked the video, like the video. Subscribe for more. Leave a comment if you feel like it. Don't forget to enjoy yourselves and see you soon. Bye-bye.